What are you, what are you doing to the cat? What are you doing to that poor animal? Let's go, Matt. Right? Yeah, whatever. Let's go, Matt. Whatever. Great. I fucking hate you. Do you guys see the indignity I suffer in this house? It's horrible. Somebody help me. All right. Okay. You want to take it off? Yes. Yes, she does. <laughs> the first time we put it on her, she literally just fell asleep. She just looked angry for a few minutes and then went back to sleep. She was like, fine, whatever. You, you've just made her a Cubs fan. All right, it's gone. We'll put it away. You've made that cat into a Cubs fan. No. Where did we get the hat? I think Amazon? Yeah. Amazon. It's really a dog hat, but we got like the Chihuahua size and it fits her. She doesn't like it very much, though. Of course not. She's a cat. Thanks, Miracle. Thanks. That was my ear. <laughs> Sorry. Was being the operative word in that fucking sense. What are you looking at? Whatever is not you. So if I if I seem to be a bit out of it tonight, let me get people who are just tuning in up to speed. Um, I had to do... I was working on uh, the new Here There Be Dragons. Had to do some reshoots. Planned on doing them early this morning. It was going to be simple, get it done, then get the video edited, be done, middle afternoon, take a nap, get up, do RDA. Right. And then my apartment complex decided today was the day to replace the roof. Obviously. For, the, for about 12 hours, with a brief one-hour break... I was subjected to bang, 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 directly over my head. Not lightly, not quietly, but as the walls were shaking, things were rattling. It was like... I condo. I used to have people just walking around on the roof at random times of the day. And yeah, it's fucking horrible. Yeah, but this was like constant. Yeah, like, constant, constant, like constant. half an hour at a time. I can't imagine all day that had to really suck. And you can't film because bang, 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 bang. I mean, I could say you could come film at my place, but I live far away from you. Uh, so... I am very, I, I couldn't get any sleep because. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. I, I put, I would put it on Twitter. It's like Walmart used to sell like small little mammals for pets, like hamsters and stuff and gerbils. Like live ones? Yeah. A long time ago. They used to sell them. They don't do it anymore, but they used to. And. Probably a bad idea in a place where they also sell guns. They had. They put them in these little glass cages, and there was always that one little shit, that one little six to eight year old shit, who would be over there in front of the bang, hamsters, the glass. bang 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 bang, and his fucking mom is is three feet away, oh, yeah. looking at the dog food, isn't paying a little shred of attention to that fucking hellion Timmy there. Timmy's just banging on the fucking glass, and the hamsters, the hamsters. They they have run out of poop. They have pooped so much, they are now shitting their souls because they've run out of poop. You could because run poop, could you? Bang, bang. That was my day. You poop the size of softballs, which is strange because you're so tiny. So I've been a little... A little on edge. A little bit. So tonight, keep that in mind, we... Let's do the, the fucking not. You son of a bitch. Uh, do I have an intro? What is an intro? Where is the intro? Is there an intro? I don't know. I don't fucking know. All right, here it is. We will intro. Each week, Catherine, 
Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? You know what we haven't had in a long time on the show, Tara? Uh, 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 a break from the constant horror? Well, yeah, there's that. But we it's been a long time since we've had a good old-fashioned Naked Rampage. We haven't had a Naked Rampage in a while. Well, Anchorage, Alaska is filling the job nicely. Woman accused of taking clothes off, trashing Subway. And they don't mean like Subway with the tunnels and the trains. They mean a sandwich store. Oh. 35 year old Anchorage woman accused of taking her clothes off and trashing an East Anchorage Subway Tuesday night was arrested. It's being held at Anchorage jail. Nikki Abrell went to the subway on Tudor Road around 5 p.m. Tuesday and locked herself in the bathroom for two hours and refused to come out. Um, a Channel 2 viewer at the scene, Tina, uh, Ana Tina Anaya, why can't I say that? Says she was planning to pick up a sandwich for dinner when she pulled up to see the restaurant being trashed. When I pulled up, saw a bunch of subway workers outside and I thought they were taking a smoke break. When I looked inside, there was a naked woman literally tearing the place apart. Wow. According to employees, a woman entered the restaurant fully clothed at 5 p.m., went to the restrooms. When she emerged two hours later, she was no longer wearing any clothes and began to break furniture, pulling down ceiling tiles and throwing around the food. Police say the woman appeared to be on drugs. You think? So many questions. Number one, who goes to Subway to get high? What were you doing in there for two hours? Two hours? Were you like drying? And, and were you like, was she, were you making the meth in the bathroom? You know, when I worked at Starbucks, I did have one of the customer complaints I got was a guy that told me, that our hand dryer isn't the kind that can flip up, so it's really hard to wash your face in there. And I was like, why Why do you need to be washing your face at Starbucks? You're not, that's, that's not what our bathroom is for. Like, take your hobo bath elsewhere. <laughs> but for, I, so... Number one, going to Subway to get high. Number two, why is this considered a fun drug? This does not seem like a fun, whatever she Did was on. Say, I was gonna, does it say what she's on? It doesn't say what it's on, but I'm pretty sure it's not one of the fun ones. Because nobody who has ever gotten stoned on weed has ever gone on a naked rampage. And torn up the fucking Subway. You don't have the motivation. Just, I mean, you might go to Subway. You might, but you're not going to tear the place up. Just to get a foot-long meatball. Yeah. I Not to show them your foot-long and meatballs. <laughs> what the fuck is spice? Why do I keep hearing about spice? Is that a new drug? The article is, it said spice. It's spice? Is that what the kids are doing these days? That's It's one of the not fun drugs. It really... You know, what the fuck is it? Is it something out of Dune? Like, I... when when we oh, were synthetic weed, I thought that was called K two. When we were kids, we had drugs you could trust. I swear, back in the day, you, you, you had knew where, you knew where you were with heroin. You had your you, you had your LSD. You had your lewds. You had you, you knew what was going on. I mean, fuck's sakes, heroin is going to goddamn destroy you, but at least it would do so in a predictable fashion. And you get to die looking hot. With the new drugs, anything can and does happen. Oh, Mike sent me a rather detailed explanation of what spice is. Thanks, Mike. You can always count on Mike. And normally, the stuff that happens... 
the unpredictable stuff that happens does not seem like fun. Isn't that the point of recreational drug use? He you know, emphasis Recreation? on Recreation? Yeah, it doesn't seem like... If your idea of fun is exploding out of a subway bathroom naked and in a frenzy, you have deeper issues that drugs are not going to help you with. Well, not those type of drugs anyway. Maybe she was just really, really mad at Jared. Fair. Fair. I, I can give you that one. I can give you that one. Uh, but that's not to say that people who do the old drugs are any better sometimes. Oh, this, this next one's just... I'm already mad. I'm already... I'm just looking at this one and I'm mad. Because this falls under the, I have done many stupid things drunk. We all have the stories. You have the stories. I have the stories. We all have the stories. But you know what I've never done? Drunk. Killed somebody? Yeah. Uh, no, I've never called in a, a, a bomb threat. Olivia Pope? Isn't that a character on yes. TV? Yes. Yes, it is. Drunk Collegian calls 911, says she is, quote, Olivia Pope, and then warns cop of car bomb heading for White House. Iowa this Collegian. girl looks nothing like Kerry Washington. No. Iowa Collegian is apparently a big fan of booze and TV scandal, called 911 early this morning, claiming to be Olivia Pope, reported a sighting of Cyrus Bean outside an Iowa City bar. Cops responding to 2.45 a.m. call were flagged down by Kelsey Cousins, a 20-year-old University of Iowa student who is a member of the school's rowing team. How nice for you. <laughs> Why does that matter? Officer Brad Reinhardt reported that Cousins, seen it right, kept talking about Olivia Pope and about a car with a bomb in it that was headed to the White House. Cop added that Olivia Pope is a television show character and everything that defendant stated was nonsensical and rambling. Yeah. I do want to point something out here. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. I don't want to go all super serious on people, but just note the way this is reported because this is an attractive white girl. Mm -hmm. We have to point out that she was a member of the rowing team. She's a university student. If this was a black kid, we wouldn't. Though we'd heard, we'd learn very different details, and we wouldn't be looking at that pretty smiling picture. Just throwing that out there, because, yeah, you know, that, America. That That's not the, this is not the picture you throw up when, when the words bomb threat. No, are unless in. it's a white girl who's pretty. <clears throat> what, what, what is going on with you when you drunk and you call in 911 to report on fictitious things? Yeah. Well, I mean, was she honestly panicked? Like, was she seriously having trouble with the line between reality and fiction or not? Well, the under... Did, was this a prank or did she lose her shit a little bit? Well, the article points out the underage cousins, so number one, she's already drinking underage, uh, smelled of alcohol, suffered from impaired speech imbalance, had bloodshot, watery eyes... She reportedly copped to drinking and possessing a fake ID. Breathalyzer, uh, her blood alcohol contact was uh, 0.206, more than twice the legal limit. No, 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 no. 911 is not a convenient service, nor is it a toy. No. And they are not going to think your prank is hilarious. No, they don't. They, they really don't think it's funny. They never think it's funny. They have a surprisingly low sense of humor about that sort of thing. Because somebody else could be dying. And you took up their fucking time. Yeah, it, 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 if you if you call nine one one and they show up and you fuck with them, you can't just go J K Law and 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 no, they don't they don't that doesn't work. There are consequences to that. 
Your those, off, your, those are not resources we can really afford to have wasted. Your Honor, clearly my defendant stated J.K. Lull. <laughs> I, 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 you know what? We got like 50 years before that's legit a law. <laughs> before the LOL defense is a thing. She, she used the slash S to denote sarcasm. Obviously. Oh, fuck's sake. So, yeah, and technically, did she not make a threat on the president? Yeah, that's... She's lucky she called 911 and not... They that. don't fuck around with that either. Yeah. You don't get to threaten the president. Like, free speech and all, but you don't get to threaten the president. That's one of the things you do not get to do. They don't fuck around with that shit. Yeah. That's them very upset, and men in very serious black suits with little coils coming out of their ears show up at your door. Yeah, ever since 1963 in Dallas, we've been a little, let's say, touchy about the subject. Yeah. And, you know, what year did Reagan get shot? 84? 84, or something like that, yeah. I mean, he survived it, but the president got fucking shot, and that's yeah. terrible. So this next story is a weird one because not not only does it fall into the why does this oh. not only does it fall into why does this shit keep happening but it's I swear to you sometimes people send in stories and I'm like oh no I can't use this one we just did this one the same story like a few months ago so it's it must be no, this is not the same story. I, I looked at it and I checked it and I was like, holy shit, this happened again? This, this happened again. You're not experiencing deja vu, longtime uh, uh, viewers. Um, X-rated sounds blast out of Target store speakers. <laughs> what some Target shoppers thought was a Halloween prank turned out to be sounds from a pair of X-rated audio track being played over the store's public address system. Chris Miner told CNN affiliate KPIX that he captured the moans and groans of the apparent porn audio on cell phone video Wednesday at a Target in San Jose, California. I thought it may have been Halloween related, maybe an employee paying minor games, but this was X-rated, which made me feel very uncomfortable. His video showed baffled shoppers, including mothers with babies, with one woman saying, that's terrible. How puritanical are we in this country that there's porn playing at Target and people think it's a Halloween prank? Oh my God, sex sounds. That's terrifying. And I just like the next quote. I felt violated and my body said, wait a minute. This ain't right, so I was uneasy. Your body said... I think actually your body said it was right, and that made you uneasy. Yeah. My pants... I, which direction in the men's department? These got a little small on me all mm -hmm. of a sudden. And that's okay. Now, at the last line of the article, a target in San Luis Obispo, California, was briefly evacuated in July... After a similar explicit audio incident. And, I mean, not that you should be playing porn at the Target. No. Obviously, that is inappropriate and wrong. But evacuated? Like the place is on fire? I'm Like, we have such weird, weird reactions to sex in America. I'm more baffled. How does the same thing happen to the same chain twice? Well, clearly, it's a targeted attack. <laughs> I mean, you set it up for me. How am I supposed to not spike it? Come on. <laughs> you, had to, you had to know. Don't look at me like that. Yeah, I'm starting. Is this, is this a thing now? Is this what the kids are doing? 
Is this like, you know, that planking thing? Only now it's playing porn over the audio speaker? What? I never got the planking thing. I never... Is that what this I is? why that was funny, just laying on things. Is, is this a trend? Maybe. Tara needs to get a horseshoe up her ass. What? Fuck you. I don't even know what that means in fuck you. Is is this Oh Target needs to get a never mind, sorry. Fuck oh. you rescinded. Oh, okay. But it's hard to read the chat and do this at the same time. No, I mean did did they Is this I mean, is this like Netflix and chill, only it's Target and porn porn noise? Is that is there gonna be a rash of these? Maybe. Now, can you explain? Now, I, maybe, I maybe this is their new closing time strategy. Like, <laughs> people never want to get the fuck out. No, of when it's time to close. They don't. Maybe this is the new way they get people the fuck out of the store so they can close on time. That son of a bitch comes in five minutes before you lock the fucking door. I just need to pick up one quick thing, and then like thirty minutes later, they got a fucking yep. armload of shit. Or I just need one thing, but I don't know what it is. I can see like Kmart like adopting this strategy to be like, we're cool like Target. We play Fort Noise too. Come shop at Kmart. Walmart will not. Will will not. Because Jesus. Jesus. Is this? I mean, is, uh, how does this happen? It really makes you think about why they named that little mascot dog Spot, though. You know what I want to see? I want to see somebody take one of the videos of like the Black Friday mobs at Target and put porn sounds over that. That would probably solve Black Friday. All the people you know, all like honesty. mobbing for a hundred dollar TV. I want somebody to put like gangbang sound effects over that. No, actually, I just want to get them all. That should be how Black Friday works now. Okay. We get them all in the store, and then you start playing porn noises, and we'll see who can fucking deal with it the longest. Because those of those of them might be there for that really good deals, but I wonder how much you know the really because they are there for the five dollar Glock promotion. I, I wonder how long no sex. the the really repressed ones can deal with it before they just they can't stay anymore. This should be a social experiment. I want to do this shit. Oh dear. Uh, well, it's almost Halloween time, and Halloween means Halloween decorations. It means your neighbor's putting out various and sundry things. And hey, this is technically a neighbor to you, Tara, because this comes from uh, New Jersey. Jersey. So it's it's in the neighborhood. Um. Well, sometimes the Halloween decorations are scary. Sometimes they're a little gross, and sometimes they're completely in a fucking appropriate. New Jersey man irritates neighbors with gory Halloween display showing Obama as ISIS militant. Some homeowners on Cleary Avenue are finding their Halloween display more garish than ghostly. Decorations include a mannequin dressed as a torture captive of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, a hanged mannequin dressed as a murdered soldier, and a machete-wielding mannequin wearing a mask of President Barack Obama. Homeowner. I don't get what that has to do with Halloween. The homeowner who erected the display told New Jersey Advanced Media he didn't believe his decorations were anti-American and that his critics were trying to, quote, stifle his freedom of speech. All right, this, this kind of, uh, this is one of those things that's going to apply universally. Here's how freedom of speech works. In America, the government cannot really stop you from saying most things. Now, you cannot say, we, we've ruled, you cannot say fire in a crowded theater. You cannot say I'm going to kill the president. Certain other things along those lines. But most things, you can say them. However, that only applies to the government. That's only the government. Everybody else can call you an asshole. 
everybody else. Because that's our freedom of speech. We get yes. to freely tell you that you are an asshole. You get to express yourself, so do we. And hey, guess what? If more people think you're an asshole, they might be right. And like, fuck, like, isn't Halloween one of the few holidays we haven't politicized? Like, we've got the war on Christmas, Christmas oh yeah. my god. Because, you know, someone in the mall said happy holidays. We've, like, we've the militant anti-Valentine's Day people... Thanksgiving, like we yell at immigrants now. Like, no, Thanksgiving is the commercialism shit. Is the you can't right because you don't have that anymore because Black Friday starts the day before Thanksgiving. Like sometimes on had, Thanksgiving, we had this one thing left, you guys, and you broke it. And you know what? You're you're just being an asshole. You're just it's trying. Also the one holiday we have left that we haven't actually tried to claim is not stolen from a pagan holiday. Like we fully admit that we straight up stole this from a pagan holiday, and we accept it. Christmas and Easter, we're still like, no, no, no. It's about Jesus. Jesus. Halloween normally tends to be you take your kids out trick or treating. Are you trying to make a political statement to a six year old? Children? In, yeah. in the Elsa costume, she just wants to get candy. She wants to go to the house that's got the full-size Snickers. This is totally the fucking house that gives out raisins. <laughs> or and, fucking sugar babies or something. And chick tracks, probably. Probably. Probably chick tracks. Because, you know, I don't think five-year-old dressed up as Iron Man knows what the fuck is going on on your lawn. No. He has no goddamn idea. He doesn't care. You would have to come outside and explain it to him. He still wouldn't care because you have not given him candy. Right. Kids on Halloween have a one-track mind, and that is candy. And maybe you're trying to proselytize, proselytize to the parents. Parents on Halloween have a one-track mind. Get this fucking over. Yes. I'm out in the cold. My kid's in a ridiculous outfit. I'm begging door to door. I just want to <laughs> just go to fuck this home. be over. They don't want to talk to you about how Obama is the Antichrist. Yeah, you, you're, you're, you're not doing this for any other reason, but you just want to make everyone else miserable. You're just jerking off all over your front lawn and fo forcing your neighbors to watch is what you're doing. That's what you're doing. You're just... That would, jizzing all over the lawn and making everybody lick it up. Honestly, that would be less offensive. No, because Americans hate sex. Mm. So our, our next one, um, this is, I, I guess this falls into the category. There's a story here. It's... Many of these these stories we, we come in, we, we read, it's like we've come in on page... 38. Yes. And we're missing all the rest and of I it. And so want pages 1 through 37. Because just in vain, tiny sliver of hope that those missing outtakes will allow us to make sense of the situation. Kids, don't even try. Don't, don't even fucking... Man on roller skates steals ambulance. Why? You already had roller skates. Norcross, <laughs> Georgia. Police say a roller skates wearing Norcross man stole an ambulance. Police arrested Brandon Moore for allegedly stealing the vehicle uh, while crews responded to an accident involving a flipped SUV. Five charges of uh, theft. Authorities say the theft did not interfere with treating patients. Okay, well, That's a good. But still, police were able to recover the vehicle with only minor damage. You stole the ambulance. You fucked it up. Well, yeah, you know what those wheels are going to do to the gas pedal? You know he was trying to drive with the roller skates on. You know he didn't take them off. So what? What happened? You're a special kind of asshole, you steal an ambulance, man. But this... You want to be a dick, steal a cop car. Why? Ambulances exist for the sole purpose of saving people's lives. That is their sole function. Well, why the roller skates? Why steal the ambulance? 
Where did he come from? Was he just happened to be passing by on his skates and went, hey, an ambulance, I'm going to go for a ride. Maybe he's a really, really zealous, cheesy injury attorney. I don't think this would be a good ad. You know, the ambulance chaser? Well, you can chase the ambulances faster on roller skates. Were they roller skates or roller blades? Because the mental image of roller skates is funnier. Because they're so anachronistic, you know? Gabe the Gen says, dude believes he in a real-life GTA mod playthrough. No, you know what? This is actually the kind of shit that happens in GTA. You're just yeah, random. So, and apparently a whale falls out of the sky. Well, that's a mod. That ain't the real game. But still, you're, you're minding your own business. Suddenly, some asshole in an anime mask with guns and, like, hot pants comes along and steals your ambulance, steals an ambulance right the fuck in front of you. And that's the kind... That's not supposed to happen in the real world. This is a glitch in the Matrix. Do you know? I saw a thing today that there's a theory <sighs> among quantum physicists that not only do parallel universes and realities exist, but they do interact with our own. Previously, those who believed that parallel universes existed never interacted with our own, and so you couldn't measure it or prove it. Now they're thinking maybe they do interact with our own, and that's why we do get things like deja vu or, you know, weird stuff that we would describe jokingly as a glitch in the Matrix, because we're getting some crossover like with a, a guy universe. Like a guy on roller skates showing up and stealing an ambulance out of fucking nowhere. Maybe he skated right out of a parallel reality that's like Mad Max and Xanadu mixed together. <laughs> and he needed that ambulance <laughs> for the war against the rollerbladers or do you, something. Do you fuck with the war, though? Um, no, it's, it, you know. Yeah, the Berenstain Bears thing. You know what, you know what this means? It means in 20 years... There's going to be a scientist doing a thesis about our show. That's very upsetting. They're going to be, someone's going to be like, these intrepid reporters documented many instances of breaks in parallel worlds without Back even knowing it. Line with Nash and Tara. <clears throat> oh. We could be pioneers. 100 years from now, they'll study us as, like, visionaries. As much as I would like to explain our last story with some sort of rational scientific explanation. Starlight Express! I was going to say Starlight Express, but I didn't think anybody would get it. Starlight Express, please answer me yes. I don't want you to go. Oh, my years in theater catch up with me. All right. This last one, I'd like to explain with science. That would make me feel more at ease, but I, th there is only one explanation for this. You are too stupid to live and for some fucking reason, God spared you. <gasps> Dan! <laughs> the name of the link is Missouri Man is the new Florida Man. <laughs> You know the Florida Man meme. There's a whole Twitter account of headlines that start with the words Florida Man, because Florida. So. And this is totally something you would do, too. Oh, good. <laughs> if you didn't currently live here, I'd be a little worried that this might be you. Missouri Man tries to put out garbage fire with Van... Full of live ammunition. Most people find themselves in an out of control, in front of an out of control blaze and call their local fire department for help. But a man who couldn't contain a garbage fire he started Tuesday in a field outside of Liberty, Missouri, thought he'd MacGyvered the situation by running the fire over with a van full of live ammunition in order to put it out. Why would that make it better? <laughs> I don't know. Who 
puts out a fire with gunpowder. A man for the Clay County Sheriff's Office told the Kansas City Star that a deputy spotted smoke from the burning van during a traffic stop. Arrived at the scene, the deputies approached but retreated at the sound of ammunition going off. The van's owner, who's reported... Sound like 4th of July on crack. Van See, now, Dan would do it not because he thought it would put out the fire, but because it would look cool. Like, he would do it on purpose. I'm going to run over that garbage fire with a van full of ammunition because it's going to be awesome. The van's owner, who the report did not identify, allegedly told the deputy he attempted to quash the flames by driving the vehicle back and forth over them until the tires also caught fire. Okay, do you know how long it takes for tires <laughs> to catch on fire? I don't understand why you would think that would work. They're begging you. They're, they're speculating in the chat that this was Arlo, by the way. There you go. Official expert commentary. Do you know how long? Why would you think this would help? Even if you had no ammunition in the van, why would you drive a vehicle that runs on gasoline, by the way, <laughs> over a fire to put it out? Well, then that yeah, put it out. Well, here's the, uh, part of the next explanation is the next line. He said he evacuated the evacuated the area at that point because he realized. He realized that the van was full of firearms ammunition and had a tank full of gas. So halfway through driving... It doesn't matter. It wouldn't put out the fire anyway. <laughs> even if, even without the all the reasons this is a horrific danger, it wouldn't be effective. I think we've already established this gentleman is not playing with a full set of 52. Yeah, that mall's open, but no one's shopping. <laughs> I just, it, so I love the fact that he's halfway through driving back and forth over the fire. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. And he stops and he goes, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Terrible mistake. I <laughs> I don't know if that's funny or if I'm sleep deprived. How do you get halfway through this before you realize it's a bad idea? Uh, and if you're that stupid, how do you know how to drive? How did you pass driver's exam if you're that stupid? How do you function without a handler? He he had to have been doing this for it because tires don't catch fire quickly. So not only was this not working, and he could see this was not working, it had not been working long enough for the tires to catch on fire. That's a little bit, you know how they say the, the definition of insanity? It's doing the same thing, expecting a different. That's a whole lot of crazy. I guess. I mean, I'm the daughter of a fireman, so I was brought up with basic fire safety. So maybe other people don't know how to put out a fire. That you put water on it or dirt or, you know, not combustibles. <laughs> not like a, guy a car. Like a fire in Gotham tonight and just started running around. And I'm like, stop, drop and roll, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Nobody ever told you stop, drop and roll. Do You're you a cop. Do you think God just looked down and went, bless your heart? Yeah, you, you can go. No, no, I don't have the heart to do this. You, you can go. You can go. <laughs> you get a pass, man. You, you can pass. You, uh, oh, my God. It'd be like stepping on a puppy at this point. Just go. And here's a just go. more frightening thought. I mean, it doesn't say in the story that any of those guns or ammunition were illegally owned. Which would lead us to believe that this is a person that is allowed to own firearms and ammunition and it's a moron yep so there's that so i, th I think the first thing we learned tonight is god's mercy 
works in mysterious ways. Yeah. I think sometimes you can actually flabbergast God enough that he forgets <laughs> to kill you. I mean, you just, I just imagine it'd be like... That God's just up there like, I... Michael! Michael, come and look at this shit! You are you not gonna gotta, believe this! You gotta fucking see this. Bring the whole fucking choir, man. You, you, you're not even gonna believe this shit. God, ain't he supposed to be dead? What? Oh, fuck! Damn it! I knew I was forgetting something. God, God damn it! We've learned... Sometimes something so inexplicable happens, it may not be stupidity. It may be the walls of reality are crumbling around. It may be the alternate universe in which you're currently sitting in a Thunderdome with wheels instead of feet. We've learned a little about free speech and how to tell if you're an asshole. <laughs> we learn a lot about how to tell if you're an asshole on yeah, this we show. Do. We've learned the solution to Black Friday is porn. Damn right. I, I want to, this is a social experiment. I think it's time has come. We've learned that just because, just because you're a white college student um, does not mean you get to call a bomb threat to the White House on 911 with impunity. And just because you use a black TV character's name doesn't mean you're going to get away with it. I get my pass. And, and finally tonight, we've learned the fun drugs are the ones we already know what they do. They, yeah. If you don't know what the drug does, chances are, maybe, just maybe. I mean, they do call it experimenting with drugs. <clears throat> there's experimenting, and then there's, hey, y'all, watch this. This yeah. is, hey, y'all, watch this with drugs. That's not a good thing to do. It's like, this is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. We don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs>